Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow Good morning everyone! Happy weekend! This is a weekly grocery haul So this is like gonna last us pretty much all week I still have a few little things to pick up from Sunak Like I'm gonna pick up some coconut which I've been obsessed with Um Actually, I think that's it. Veggies, we got so many veggies. Some arugula, some baby spinach and romaine, some red peppers, corn, zucchini, um, cucumbers, shishito peppers, tiny cucumbers, look how cute these are. Tomatoes, broccoli, uh, green beans, and then we got some fruits. So we got berries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, grapes, plums, nectarines, peaches, a red ruby grapefruit. I don't think I've had one of these before, but it just sounded really yummy. Some shallots, onions, lemon, random drinks. These are actually Noah's, but it's the uh, guava goddess kombucha. This one sounds really good, and he likes the ginger beer. Um, some Alfredo sauce, tzatziki sauce, and then as for some snacks, these are amazing. I don't know what they do to them, but they're like the perfect crisp flavoring. They look like this literally like that they're so good so we picked up two these are also another one of my favorites these i've heard are really good these are the almond filled pretzel nuggets picked these up for some snacks dark chocolate peanut butter cups some ritter sport dark chocolate hazelnuts i've really been liking these one like protein bars i really like the cookie dough one but they didn't have it so i've had this one too the almond bliss one is pretty good and then some bread and grains. We got couscous. Oh, Israeli couscous. There's a big difference. The Israeli one is a little bit thicker. They're kind of like almost like little marbles. Some basmati rice, pita bread, and then a whole bunch of frozen stuff. This one's not frozen, but um, this one goes in the fridge. It's the curry chicken with coconut sauce. No one makes me rice and it's just really yummy. I'm gonna have this for lunch today, the mandarin style orange chicken bowl. It's so, so good. Some dumplings, I've never had these before. These are really cool. They're like frozen little fillets of salmon that I just pop in the uh, air fryer and it has like a, I think it's like a butter pesto or something. It's really quick and simple. Um, now I got some sea bass. He eats this, I don't really, <laughs> I have no idea what that is. And then this is all of his like Indian food. But yeah, we are stocked for the week. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. So we just actually got a new air purifier for the house. This one was gifted to us by Toppin. They gifted us the Toppin Comfy Air Bridge 4. We've been using it literally every night, every morning. It's constantly on. So this is what it looks like. It's actually really sleek. We just shove it in this little corner here. This is an air purifier for large spaces. So it covers 392 square feet in literally just 12 minutes, which is really cool. It also has a four layer filtration system. It's the H13 True HIPAA filter, which is insane that I have one inside my apartment. There's like an air quality display. So you see how it has like a light. There it goes. It's on level two. You can change it to different settings. So like there's three different fan settings. I personally like it on the low setting just because it's a little bit quieter um there's also like a night mode setting so it also tells you like the quality of your air so when you saw that the light was just green that means my air quality is really good if it was like red or something that would be really bad it'll tell you when you need to reset the filter like they have all the little light things here in the guide which is really cool and it's for huge spaces so you don't need like multiple ones for each room it's a really good investment into your house and like the quality of your air it helps you breathe better it just really purifies your air so i will leave them down below they're giving you guys 60 dollars off $40 off as well as a 10% coupon if you click on the link in the description box it ends September 10th though so if you're gonna get one get one now we just finished watching a movie the movie was the new Jason Momoa movie on Netflix I actually kind of liked it I'm not a fan of action but um I did pass out halfway through but I I kind of understood the concept it was a good like I don't know Saturday movie um we actually have a hurricane coming uh which is insane because i don't think it even hit florida it's just coming straight for new york so i'm used to like florida like hurricane weather but i'm making another matcha so as you saw this morning i made a matcha i am obsessed with peak matcha now i showed you guys like how i used to make this all the time like with like a heated latte a lot of you guys were like oh i wish i could drink it but i hate matcha and i'm like really matcha is so good and this is the one that i always always had and they had run out for like months so i picked up like 
this one i picked up like a trader joe's version and i understand why people don't like matcha now like it tastes so weird this is the only one that tastes manageable like it is so good it has like a sweetness to it i will leave it down below because they just restocked i think you can only get it on their website right now you used to be able to get it on amazon but i'm gonna link a link to like their website they come in like these single serving packs recently learned to make an ice matcha latte so what i do and I'm very, very specific. You can get these on Amazon, but the oat milk, which I also have tried many different versions, nothing hits like this one. This one is so healthy. It's super clean ingredients, but it doesn't taste like watered down in any way. Like it actually tastes like creamy oat milk. This is the Rise Brewing Company, gluten-free, dairy-free oat milk. This is the oat milk that I use. I'll pour in about like that much to leave room for ice pop it into a frother and then a little bit of this sewn organic oat creamer the sweet and creamy i get mine from um whole foods but i think you can also get it from amazon so i'll link all this stuff down below i literally will just do like a little splash for sweetness use one pack of the peak matcha and then this is also really good quality matcha like you can get different types of matcha this one's really really good quality and it tastes good guys if any of you guys have the nespresso um frother it actually frosts cold so you can hold this down and typically it will turn like red when you froth it but when you hold it down it turns blue for cold froth so it's not too warm look how frothy this makes it Looks so good oh my god whoa i literally almost slipped because that socks on it's so good while I drink my matcha, I thought we could do like a summer book reading, summer reading book review. <laughs> Look how many books I read this summer. Actually crazy. This one was really, really good. I think it was really easy read. You know when a book is like really good, it picks up really quickly and then the ending kind of just falls flat and you're like, really? Come on. Like that's how I felt this book was. But it was a simple, quick book. Unfuck Yourself is uh, gonna be a no bueno for me. I'm so over self-help books. I could just get so down a wormhole in terms of like the self-help industry. There's a video I'll link on the screen. You guys have to watch it. I think it's by Nathaniel Drew, but it's about basically the whole industry of self-help and like, I don't know. I'm just like so over the self-help industry. So this was my last shot, unfortunately. I also put down The Shack. I have been really into my spirituality lately and my faith. And with that, I've been watching a lot of like sermons online. So I just get like really excited. And I always feel really good when I talk about like my spirituality and like God and stuff like that. Um, but when I read certain books about religion, I think I just don't connect because it's somebody else's journey. They're trying to convert rather than explain, if that makes sense. And this was just very corny. It was so stupid. I know a lot of like Christians really like this book, but I really hated it. <laughs> I think I read about like 75% before I put it down. This one is absolutely my favorite, hands down, Daisy Jones and the Six. It is the most amazing story ever i highly recommend this i can't really talk about it too much without going and giving away anything about the story but basically it's about this girl interviewing um an older like rock band that was like super famous and then ended up breaking up and it doesn't sound that good but like i said i can't really give it away without like saying what the whole story is about it's just such a human book. If you're looking for an emotional roller coaster of like authentic human emotions, you gotta pick it up. Nine Perfect Strangers. This one was good. It was just kind of like, I would say a three. I think that's what I rated it. It's just very like neutral. The only reason I read it was because of the series that's coming up on Hulu, which I'm really excited about. It has like Nicole Kidman, Melissa McCarthy, and just like really looks really good. Yeah, it wasn't anything out of the norm i would i recommend it probably not i mean if you're gonna watch the series read it but it's not anything amazing a court of thorns and roses and a mist a court of mist and fury i loved this book and i was so excited because a lot of you guys were like you have to pick up the second one the second one's the best one this fell so flat for me guys like this one is a rush it is jam-packed like every single page is just so important to the story it's a freaking whirlwind of a story you're diving into this whole other world and it just really engulfs you and then when you pick this one up this much of the book is good 
This much of the book is very unnecessary. It's super confusing. There's so much going on to the point where I think like the author was just trying to make stuff happen. Yeah, the way it was written was just very weird. The very ending of it I liked a lot, but I just wish that the book wasn't as like long, if that makes sense. I read a review where it was like, I liked 250 pages of the 640 pages, which is not bad, right? Like that's a whole story on its own, but the other parts were just so dragged out and I just I I was it was kind of an annoying book to read to be quite honest but if you read this one and just leave it at that this is like a five out of five the midnight library this one was a kind of a letdown oh my god I got my bookmark I was looking for that I think everyone hypes it up to be like this big thing but it's just very original and it's something I haven't like heard before I think it's supposed to be like this aha life-changing book with like so many different life lessons and stuff but like I said it's nothing I really haven't heard before I think it was more young adult and not as hype as I think people hyped it up to be. I just finished this one this morning. This one's The Maidens. I really liked this one. This is the same author from The Silent Patient, which is probably one of my favorite books ever. This is his second novel ever. The Silent Patient was his first book, and I had really high expectations for it. And it was a really good book. It wasn't as good as The Silent Patient, but there's a certain thing that happens on page 241 that I was like, hmm. If you know, you know. And that just like made the whole book for me, honestly. <laughs> but uh, I really, really enjoyed it. It was like a solid four to five. Women Evolve, this one is a religious book, but this is somebody that I already like the way she speaks about Christianity and like faith and stuff. So I already knew her before buying the book, which is what I think I'm gonna do in terms of any self-help book or like motivational faith kind of book like more non-fiction book I have to know the person and like the way that they talk because I think that's why I'm like just not connecting with it as much it's like I don't even know who you are like who are you to tell me x y and z you know so I already really liked her and I think this was definitely helpful if you're going through a really rough time and it's a really good like faith religious book if you're into religion I highly recommend it or just go watch her sermon I think it's like girl get up or something life-changing one of the best sermons if not the best sermon I've ever heard in my entire life. And then last but not least, The Firekeeper's Daughter. This is another like book that was more young adult. I didn't really like the character that much. Like, I don't know, I just didn't connect with her, which was really weird. Like I've never been as disconnected from a character in a book that is this long. The overall story like was good. It just was hard to connect with like the emotional part of the character. I don't know how else to explain it. But out of all these books, if I had to recommend Let's say three. Daisy Jones and the Six would be number one. A Court of Thorns and Roses would be number two. And then Maidens would be number three. These are the three books that I really liked from my whole summer reading. And we're about to be in fall. Fun fact, I actually have all my fall books already picked out. I'm really excited. But um, yeah, we read a lot. I mean, technically two of these I didn't finish. But um, we did a fair share of reading this summer. One of the most common questions that I ever get, oddly, is where I store my books. And I think I've mentioned this in a couple videos, but if you guys are ever wondering where Renee stores her books in her studio apartment, let me show you. This is my closet. I'm currently standing on my little office chair, um, but I store all my books up here. There's a whole bunch back there. They're all kind of just stacked here. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like pretty jam-packed in here and i know probably a lot of you guys are like whoa 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 you have way more books than that they're actually at my mom's house so i didn't bring i don't think any of my books when i first moved to this apartment from my old apartment every time that i went back home i would bring more books back home so these are just i think from this year only that time to 
go ahead and plan my week i did all the sunday things we did a lot of just like hurricane weather stuff as well so like not only did i watch church i cleaned and all that stuff but um we kind of just spent the majority of the day literally just relaxing and enjoying this super gloomy rainy weather we were playing like some board games card games we ordered pizza it was just a really relaxing nice sunday i want to set up my week like I did last week because I feel like it really helped me in terms of like making the most out of every day which has like been my goal <laughs> lately because life can be overwhelming sometimes you know and especially when you're in like a really weird time in your life it's so important to just keep on trekking keep on like doing the best and living your best life in a balanced healthy way so I am going to sit here plan out my week like I did last week and um, establish some new habits for myself. I wanna keep doing this like every week just because I think it's really important. Instead of maintaining all the habits that I did last week, I wanna kind of just, and you know, kind of reflect and figure out what I want to focus on this week. You know, not every week has to look the same. And I think that's where I tend to get a little bit too strict on myself like when I have like the same habits every week the same stuff like when it becomes repetitive excuse the sirens <sighs> when it becomes repetitive to me that's when it becomes like hard to maintain so we're gonna kind of just reflect figure out what is gonna work this week um, and just go ahead and go into planning zone my favorite type of zone finished i feel nice and fresh and set for the week the habits that i chose this week are going to be soul obviously that one i did have last week but it really helped center me and for me soul is like bible reading watching sermons or something somewhat spiritual every day it really helps me go inward and find that's like my inner peace you know um i also put zero politics so i recently have been really into like that world which i've never been a huge political person but it's now becoming part of my daily life and it's really driving me nuts <laughs> because i'm getting like angry there's things that i have no control over that i am just letting affect me and it's so freaking unhealthy so i will not be watching any sort of politics unnecessary politics or letting it get to me focusing on what i can control in my environment and just getting out of kind of like this victim mentality. I also said no alcohol. I've been going out a lot lately and I've been drinking a lot and it's just something that I feel like I need to slow the roll down. So we're not gonna drink alcohol this week. Um, and also a no coffee challenge. So I never really relied on coffee up until like probably when like I want to say like two, three years ago. Like I went through all of college without coffee and I felt like I just had more energy and i'm not saying coffee's bad or it's like the reason why i don't have energy i just want to see what i feel like when i don't have coffee in the morning um i think i'm going to stick to like teas or juices in the morning and then my am walk is also something that i really liked if it's not raining or anything like that it's just really nice to get outside first thing in the morning because it really does just set you up for like a very clear head space it's kind of like a little meditation if you will so we're going to stick with that one as well and then I'm going to be doing a health challenge. I'll talk about this in a separate video because I will be vlogging it. Which brings me to my videos of the week. I still need to do this video. This is a sit down video. The weekend vlog is what we're doing actually right now. And after I'm done with this little insert, I will be able to take off the dark one because that means I'm done filming. The dark is the filming and then the editing is the lighter like yellow and then the health challenge is what I'll be vlogging. Those are the three videos that I'm going to be working on this week and then I have my little like workout challenge. I went ahead and put two cardio sessions, a leg workout, two arms, 
or sorry, two abs and then one arm workout. I did all my workouts last week, which is really cool. And I really like this concept because I'm not kind of dedicating a specific day to a specific workout. I'm just kind of figuring out which one works best for me depending on my mood and the day that I'm having. And I will continue to be using my Google Calendar, which I talked a little bit about in last week's vlog. So I'll pop that on the screen if you're interested for a more in-depth look of my Google Calendar. Um, but yeah, I feel really good. All is good in the world. We're officially done with even just one little part of my weekly goals that I have for myself. So I'm um, feeling nice and refreshed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna kind of just chill out to the rest of this hurricane until it's done. I think it's gonna be raining even tomorrow. Um, we shall see, but right now I'm just feeling really cozy and I just want to enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here